and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. But um, every now and then I do throw a few other things in like today. Um, I will show you some uh, diamond art painting that I received from New Craft Day. So thank you so much for that New Craft Day. I appreciate it. Uh, grab you a cup of coffee. I am drinking from my gobble to you wobble. And uh, this is French vanilla. So grab you something to drink, sit back and relax, and let's just enjoy some good old crochet talk. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm, I love coffee first thing in the morning. Well, actually, I love coffee anytime. <laughs> but I guess especially in the morning. Well, guys, it's two days for Thanksgiving, and I can't believe I've not been promoting my uh, turkey hats for you guys to make. Um, I, this is a free tutorial that I have on my channel. I'll leave the link below. But this is to make these turkey hats. And I have forgotten all about um, having these. <laughs> it's just um, been a lot, I guess. <laughs> but um, anyway, if you would like to make one of these cute turkey hats, as you can see, you can change the colors up, make them your own. Uh, this is a man size large. And this is a, I believe this is a, um, a teen size so um yeah basically the only difference between them uh, to get the bigger size is just a different hook size and then you just do a few more rows than you do the other not that much difference so yeah so go check out this tutorial i'll leave the link below and so that you can make um some turkey hats for your family if well i'd have to look back but um for thanksgiving everyone that's going to be at the thanksgiving dinner I always make sure everybody has a turkey hat and then we get like a big group photo and it's just so much fun. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see, I did get a card a thanksgiving card so thank you so much cheryl uh, i'm not going to read this to everyone but i will love to show this off this is from cheryl thank you so so very much for that um she does have a bible scripture in here it says give thanks to the lord for he is good psalms 107 1 yeah and it says have a wonderful thanksgiving in god's goodness Isn't that just beautiful? So thank you so much for that, Cheryl. I was so excited. And I do have, I'm not going to show today because I want to wait till the 1st of December before I start showing off the Christmas cards that I'm receiving from you guys. And thank you so much for that. Um, I'm, I'm going to really try my best to that if I get a card, I am going to send that person a card back. I'm going to try. Um, last year, was really my first, I well, it was my second Christmas, but it was my first Christmas to actually start, you know, where my numbers were going up and my, um, I was getting more Christmas cards type and I got a ton last year and, um, but I didn't send any cards out. So, and I always felt bad about that, about not sending them. So I am determined I'm going to do that this year. I am going to send out whoever sends me a card. I'm going to send them a card as well back. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to try to be a little bit more diligent in that area. I'm going to work on that. Okay, let's see. All right, let me show you the um, diamond art painting from New Craft Day. So Here's what I received from New Craft Day. And I'm fixing to open this up and show this to you guys. All right, so I got everything out of the package. And look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah. That is going to be so much fun. And let's see. Okay, here's all the colors or, you know, the diamonds that they send you. It's a lot in here. Here's what it looks like. And so you just go by those 
I guess they're symbols or letters, maybe just letters on this one. Usually they're symbols, but it looks like this one is letters. And, um, and then you just match whatever they are. Then you come over here and these are the colors you use. Now they sent me this right here as well. And you can keep your colors in here. Very nice. And the, uh, now this was in its own separate little purchase. And this right here came with all these colors right here. And it came with this right here. And this was a separate purchase, Diamond Painting Sealer. So I haven't got to try this yet, but um, they sent this to me to try. So yeah, um, I will leave the links in the description box for this. Um, Thank you, New Crafts Day. I appreciate this. So yeah, they got several Santas, by the way. And if I can, I will try to show you the different Santas. They had quite a few of them, but that's the one that I chose. Okay, guys, here are the Santas. Look at that. There's a lot to choose from. $5.38 for that. Yeah, I'm all set, ready to go. I just put my colors in here. Here's this, and I can start working on Santa. Isn't it just beautiful? Yeah. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Um, like I said, I will leave the link to that below. They are super affordable on this website, guys. Super Another thing that I was meaning to show you yesterday was I have um, this Annie's Halloween. I'll leave the link below because they still sell this. But look what they have in there. A fall marigold throw. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, you know I want to make it. And it's like, well, fall's almost over. We're going into our winter. I mean, going into our Christmas season. And everybody's going to be decorating with Christmas. So, I guess it could even be done with Christmas colors. But I really like these colors. So, yeah. I'm on, I am going to attempt to make this thing. All right, so last but not least, this is the, um, I did get two cars on the, um, on Knox's blanket. So here's the colors of the cars. I've already taken orange out because I put orange on there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then there's going to be two blues. So this yarn was sponsored by Hobie. There it is. It's Amiga, Amigo, <laughs> Amiga, <laughs> Amigo XL, and um, I'll leave the link below for that. Medium four weight yarn, very soft, very nice. So let me show you what I have. This is it, and these are done with cross stitches. I think they look more like little trucks, or at least a blue one does. Um, but yeah. So let me show you a little clip of this um, up close for you guys. This is the best I can show. I went ahead and laid this out on my bar. And um, there's the cars. And then there's the next set of colors that I have right there. This really is a lot of fun. It's going to take me a little bit. But at least the stitches are fast. What really is going to take a little bit is just that black and white checkered look. The rest of the stuff's fast, and then not the cars, I guess, because, um, let me show you up close. The cars are cross-stitched on, and they look like little trucks <laughs> after I put the big old wheels on them instead of cars. But, you know, my grandbaby's going to love it. Car, truck, he don't care. He just likes the wheels. So, what those little... Um, stitch markers are that is I wanted to make sure that this is going to space out right and I'm not going to come up one of them two spaces between the vehicles you know it's supposed to be five spaces so what each one of those stitch markers is where I will start my next car 
And so far, after I did those two, then I turned around and I did the stitch markers, did the counting, and it came out perfect. So, yeah. So, yeah, there it is. Yeah, um, I am really enjoying that. I guess because of the colors are so bright and vivid and they're fun. Probably going to make him a basket um, in these same colors to match this and just put his Hot Wheel cars in there. So, um, every time I go to the store, you know, I'm trying to pick him up a car or two. And that way I'll have a nice little stash to give him. Because he has to have a stash at his Gigi's house and he has to have a stash at his house. You know, and then you always got to have one in the car or two in the car. You know, type thing. Um, so, yeah. I'm buying a lot of Hot Wheels. <laughs> okay. Um, well, guys, let's go ahead and read our 365 Days of Prayer. Today is a good one. In Kindness. You gave me life and showed me kindness, and in your providence watched over my spirit. Job 10, 12. Wonderful counselor, it is your kindness that leads me back to you again and again. Your wonderful way of mercy, saturated in loving kindness, is the path of life that brings light to every shadow of a doubt that blows in. You teach with words covered in your trademark love, even in correction. You have kept an eye on me my whole life, even when I was off chasing my own dark desires. You kept me from the grip of death. You lured me in with your persuasively persistent love that seemed too good to be true. It still does. Thank you for your gentleness that tenderly cares for the vulnerable heart. You don't despise me in my weakness. You offer your own strength. You cover the distance between my heart and yours with a single step. You are never far away, and of that I am grateful, Lord. May I show the same kindness to others as you continually offer me. How does kindness change your perception of someone? Well, wasn't that awesome? I just love it, and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it. Well, tomorrow is um, prep day for Thanksgiving. Um, I have, let's see, I'll be baking a cake. I'll be making some deviled eggs, and I'm sure I'll probably eat a few of them. Um, I love making deviled eggs, and um, and I love to bake cakes. So tomorrow, um, I just haven't decided how I want the cake. I can have it like a bunt style or pan style, or my favorite, though, and my mom's favorite, is I'll make two layers around and put icing on the bottom, put another piece of cake, round cake on top of that, and then icing that. And you know what I mean? And I love that, the two layer cake. I love that a lot. So um, I think that's probably, I think I just talked myself into what I'm going, how I'm going to bake the cake. It's going to be a two layer cake. And um, you know, I, one reason why I like it that way is you. it seems like you're getting more icing in your bite. Because <laughs> you got that little icing layer in between the two cakes and then you got the icing on top so yeah okay guys that's all that i have uh just don't forget to uh submit your photos for whip caddy wednesday so that we can all be inspired by you we need those whip caddies we need them so if you haven't done it yet email me or go to facebook and put it in the facebook group page and let us know what's on your cart because we need the inspiration <laughs> well that's all that i have for you guys so just remember to live life and have fun and i will see you guys in my next video bye Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.